Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome to the next part of Hector Badge of Carnage, Episode 2! Senseless Acts of Justice. I like being senseless. <laughs> what? We need Hector! Hector, sir? You sure? I have a list of demands, of course. Get the Clapper's Ring town clock working again. Something about this place rings a bell. I can think of only one man trying to do good for this community. Find out what he needs. 25,000. Where the bleeding hell am I supposed to pull that kind of cash? I want the hub of the Clapper's Ring porn industry shut down. All right, Crossstay. I've done everything on your list. Oh, you think that's all? You do a little spring cleaning and we all just go home. Oh, here we go. Did you place the puck? In the pizza. What in the only living toss? Looks like this pizza party's over for you. Ball bags. Yeah. So, Hector, no hostages, no terrorists, just an abandoned laptop in an abandoned building. Why, one could almost say there haven't been any crimes committed at all. Except for the 37 cops you'll be spending tonight in a heap. Ah, a trifle. Merely a speck in the eye of a grand plan. Look, I'm sure it's a great story and all, but can we get on with this? I feel like I've been staring at this rifle for over a year. <laughs> ah, Hector. Always the here and now and never the wider scope. Fine. Have it your way. Hope you don't mind if I don't stick around for what I'm sure will be profound parting words. The rifle you see before you is powered by a laptop containing highly sensitive face recognition software. Take one step closer and you'll be eating that pizza with a side order of garlic lead. <laughs> Shove it, you bellend. But I want garlic bread, not lead. Laser guided lobotomy is but a sneeze away. Those song lyrics? Um... Can I have that? Oh, that's the way I came in. Stupid, stupid, stupid. He said not one step closer, but he never mentioned anything about one step sideways. <laughs> and apparently one step is all I'm gonna get. Alright, so we gotta pick up the... I hate brown sauce. Just my luck. Why couldn't this have been sweet chili? I don't know why they have this. I guess this is like the kind of tutorial if you've not played the first one. I don't know why you'd have the second one without the first one, though. Down to me last slice. No, don't do it. I can't believe I just ruined a perfectly last slice of pizza. Oh, well, I'll still find a way to force it down, I'm sure. Um. Oh, come on. What the fuck? Sorry for the pause there. I was just seeing if there's a way to turn that off, because I was like, I don't want to do that. What a waste. And by that I mean like, um... Look, you've ruined me last slice. Me life's hanging by a thread here. Can we stop with a bloody tutorial? Thank you. Thank you. I like how even Hector is like, no, we don't want the tutorial Piss anymore. Off. I like the way they dealt with that. Thank God. That's what I paused to say. I was like, I want to figure it out myself. Ball hmm. bags. Wasting me last slice on a sodding tutorial. Can I use that on the pizza? Stick it to the wall? What are you, an idiot? Sometimes. That floor plank looks a little loose. <laughs> if this had been a slapstick comedy instead of an action drama, that plank probably would have smacked me in the face. Good thing for Hector, this is a very serious game. Connect that pizza? I can't combine those things. I just want you to knock it off. Good thought, but I need a way to secure the box to the plank. Maybe there's something around here I can use to tie them together. Oh, I would've used the pizza, but I threw it at the wall. Um... It's a loose panel over some electrical stuff. 
screwed on tight. Maybe I could loosen it with something. Can I hit it with the 2x4? <laughs> that's, that's how you remove electrical stuff, right? Well, those things together, not bloody lightly. Alright, so what else is in here that can deal with the whole no floor? What a stroke of luck. An electromagnetic pulse generator capable of shutting down all electrical equipment in a five block radius. Somehow I don't think that's true. I'm just kidding, there's nothing down there. How dare you lie to me! Gotta find a way to distract the gun first. Is there any chance I can use these on each other? Nah, you're just being stupid. Well, I'm trying to pin that to the board. Nah, can't be asked. I'm all out of sustenance. Me tropical survival training should kick in soon. Can I make some sort of glue paste out of my poo? Alright, so what else do we got in here? The laptop? I can't get any nearer till I shut it down. Or at least put it to sleep permanently. See, what I would try would be to throw the 2x4 at the thing. Mm, nice finish. Is that mahogany? Mm, nice finish. Does that mean it's from Finland? Throw the 2x4 at the laptop. Uh, can't reach it. A lick of paint wouldn't do this place any harm. What can we hit, though? Can we just hit the wall? What are you, an idiot? There is another pizza box down here. <laughs> the result of that warning shot didn't even give me time to finish me slice. Can we reach that? I can't combine those things. I'm just trying things, Hector. Can't you support me? No one ever supports me. Rule number one. When you're inside a building surrounded by Clappers Reek police snipers, never, ever go to the window. It's mounted to the floor. Um, destroy the floor. That seems like a practical thing. I wonder how much compensation I'd get if that thing shot me through the head. Um, but, can I throw the pizza box? Apparently not. Hmm, face recognition seems to mean any old face, not just mine. Now, how can I use this to my advantage? My well, light switch has got to do something, right? Okay, nice and slow. Hmm, nothing back there but a jumble of old wire. Still, you never know. I know what to do. Give me the wire. What is a jumble of old wire? Take it. Wiry. Let us combine these two. It's like a fishing rod of childhood, mate. The kind that usually catches sweet bugger all. Is that some fish I'm not familiar with? <laughs> Let's combine all of those. This ought to mess with that facial recognition bollocks. Your balls recognize faces? Well, Here it goes. It's a shame there's no one around to see this. <laughs> that even challenged my suspension of disbelief. Victory! That's the closest thing to a weapon committing suicide I've ever seen. Can I take it? I wonder if this is one of those check and see if it's dead moments, like in horror films. Those never turn out so well. <sighs> what about the tripod? It's mounted to the floor. Oh. Hopefully that's everything I need, because I hate to leave here and have it to come back. Matter how many times. Looks like that right. Locked! How the hell? Oh, I guess just walking out would have been much too easy. Can we shoot it? That's the American way. Seems like a logical next step. <laughs> Satisfying. Hopefully nobody well, was out there. That's the way I came in. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why can't we go out that way? Right, let's hit the pub. I'm down. The bloody beeping's getting louder. Can't be good. What in the name of all things, Bran? Oh, hell. 
Oh, I can't even be asked running for me life. Well, anything? No, nothing at all. Right, we're going to need another volunteer. Ah, <laughs> oh, unlucky. Oh well, job done, people. Pack up and move out. Let's see the pub, lads. What? What about the hostages and Hector? Sir, look at the mess of that building. No one's coming out of there alive now, are they? It's a shame about Hector. He'll be missed. Bright side, sir. Terrorist also dead. Victory in its own cruel way. Well, well, I suppose, but... You've been through a lot today, sir. Why don't we head back to the station, pour ourselves a couple of celebratory brandies fit for two heroes, eh? Oh, yes. Brandy. Lead on. I want one. Perhaps we should commission a commemorative plaque in honor of the courageous Hector. Well, we can certainly discuss it, sir. It might be just what the men's lavatories need to give them a lift. Hector, if there's a chance you're still in there, I'll never lose hope. No permanent damage, I hope. Nothing like falling through four floors of masonry to put perspective on a hangover. I'm never going to complain about a night out on the piss ever again. Oh, fixed a crick in me back, though. Small victories. Uh, you guys use the word piss a lot. That really doesn't seem like something for wanting to go to drink. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Um, I hope those are mannequin parts. I guess we'll find out next time. Thanks for hanging out.